Hello all, welcome to the program Know Your Government by New IAS, an initiative where a government scheme is picked upon, elaborated and is followed by a question in line with the UPSC pattern. Today we will look into a scheme which is known as the Suganya Samarthi Yojana, Suganya Samarthi Yojana. Suganya Samarthi Yojana is a small saving scheme which is mainly targeted to enable the parents to save for their education and marriage of the girl child. To save for the education and marriage of the girl child, start early savings for these purposes is one of the objective of Suganya Samrithi Yojana. This is launched in 2015 as part of the Beti Bachao Beti Padao campaign. We have already seen the Beti Bachao Beti Padao campaign in, in, in our previous uh, recent videos. So, this is also a part of the Beti Bachao Beti Padao campaign. Now, under this scheme, a parent or legal guardian can open a Suganya Samrithi account in the name of the girl child in until she attains the age of 10 years. So, for a girl child, Suginya Samarthi account can be opened either in a post office or in a bank till or before the child is attaining 10 years of age. Then, as per the government notification on the scheme, the account can be opened in any post office branch and designated public sector banks. So, understand that both post office as well as public sector banks is where we could open this account. Then, if this can be open only one account per girl child. So, for a particular girl child, before 10 years of age is when you have to open the account and maximum or only one account can be opened for a girl child. This is only for girl child. To open an account in Sumugini Samrithi Yojana, the parent or the guardian needs to carry these documents like the birth certificate, now an address proof of the parents as well as the identity proof of the parents. So, a birth certificate for the girl child as well as the address proof and identity proof of the parents is what they need to carry to open this account. Now, an account once opened can also be transferred anywhere in India. Account once opened in a particular state in, a, in our nation can be transferred across different states in our nation. Minimum deposit, the minimum deposit one needs to be made in Sugen Samarthi Yojana every year was initially rupees 1000 but now the government has reduced that to rupees 250 so the minimum is in an year maximum sorry minimum you put rupees 250 whereas maximum amount which one can invest in this account is close to rupees 1.5 lakh so minimum of rupees 250 and maximum of rupees 1.5 lakh again there is no limit on the number of times you are going to make the deposit in a financial year there is no limit on that, but the minimum amount and maximum amount is what you need to take care. In case the required minimum annual deposit is not made, that is the minimum annual deposit is not made, then the account basically stands inactive and then the parent on payment of a fine can make that account active again, so that the continuity has been continued upon. The account will be valid for 21 years from the date of opening. So, since or before the child is attaining 10 years of age, once the account has been opened, it will be for valid for a period of 21 years from the date of opening of the account. Account will also automatically co close if the girl child gets married before the completion of the tenure of 21 years because the key objective of this scheme is to focus upon the education as well as the marriage of the girl child. So, even so if before 21 years of age of the operation of the account if the girl child gets married the account will automatically get carried will automatically get closed off. Deposits can be made up to 14 years. So, deposits can be made up to 14 years from the date of opening of the account whereas this after 14 years you, know, you cannot make any deposits the amount will be cumulated based upon the interest which you are going to get under this scheme. The girl can operate her account after she reaches the age of 10. So, after she reaches the age of the 10, girl can operate this account on her own note as well. Withdrawing money 
before the completion of the maturity period of 21 years we have seen that this account maturity period requires 21 years and if you want to ma withdraw money before that and that can be done only by the girl child in whose name the uh, deposit has been made and after she attains the age of 18 years after a girl child attains the age of 18 years is when she could probably try to withdraw the money if you want to withdraw the money before the completion of the maturity period this withdrawal this withdrawal which she is going to make before the maturity period will be limited to 50 percentage of the amount at that stage for the preceding financial year and will be only be allowed for the purpose of higher education if the girl intends to get married if the girl is planning to get married again this much money which she can withdraw before the maturity of the account can be used only for the education purpose of that girl and 50 percentage is what you can maximum get and by default if the girl is over 18 and married normal caution is allowed if the girl is over 18 years and she is married then the account is closed off if you want to close this account prematurely that can happen mainly in two cases one is unfortunate death of the girl child if the uh, girl child dies then the benefit of that will be given to uh, the guardians or the nominees so that is one stage where in which the account has been closed prematurely and if the authorities feel that this investment into this account is causing any sort of undue hardness to the girl child and the family then also they can uh, advise closing upon this account because you know to, to investing money into uh, this account that is pay, that is having a huge impact into their day to day life if the authorities feel so then also this account can be closed prematurely next point for us to notice that whatever be the investment in which we are going to put up into Sukhini Samarthi Yojana that has been completely exempted from any tax happening. So tax savings is one of the key benefit and one more point for us to remember is that Sukhini Samarthi is Yojana uh, any time the interest of this one the government has been envisaged that this interest will be will be above the interest which has been uh, given by the PPF that is the public provident fund. So, one of the um, better programs of the government which is a very far sighted program with a very good intention in terms of helping in the marriage as well as the education purpose of the girl child is the Suginya Samarthi Yojana. We will now see a question which is based on this. Suginya Samarthi Yojana seen in news is related to a small saving schemes aim to take care a girl child's medical health and marriage expenses. So, medical health is not what is being uh, is envisaged which is making the first statement wrong. Second statement, small saving schemes aim to take care of a girl child's medical or health expenses and education expenses. So, medical is not right where the education expense is true but second statement is also wrong. Third statement, a small saving scheme which aims to promote entrepreneurial aspirations of the girl child. This is not a scheme which is to promote the entrepreneurial aspiration which is making the third statement wrong. And the fourth statement is small saving scheme aim to take care of a girl child's education and marriage expenses. So that is the crux idea of Sukhini Samrithi Yojana to focus upon the education and marriage expenses which is making the fourth statement correct. So the correct answer is option D. Thank you so much.